Oh, hey! I didn't see you there. I'm Joss. I'm Emma. And I'm Revan. And today, we're going to be going to poorly rated restaurants near Homestead. So first, we're going to be going to this local, authentic Mexican restaurant. You may not have heard of it. How do you say How do you pronounce it? It's, it's like... Chai something. Oh, Chipotle. 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 We'll see you there. Come on. Okay, just got my bowl, and now I need to grab a fork. Oh, lucky me. Time for the final Three, reveal. Two. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Dig in. We have some reviews to read. So some background on the store is that on Yelp it has an average 1.7 star rating. On Apple Maps it has an average of 1.5. Mm. This is the rating distribution. Ali rated Chipotle one star. She said not to order if you're a vegetarian. That she ordered two vegetarian meals. And it, one had chicken on it, and the other looked like it had been eaten out of. QP said, This Chipotle has the worst staff and customer service I've ever seen. If you can't be nice, at least you should treat them properly. And I say amen. LSC said, Bruh, literally gave me half a bowl, and these are her receipts. Personally, I thought the experience went fairly well. Um, the guy at the counter wasn't nice, but he took the order, he did his job. Um, I thought the place was maybe a little uncleanly. There's some stuff scattered all over the tables, and it looked like they could be cleaned. But the food is good, I thought the customer service was fine. It's just your classic fast food place, yeah. I mean, overall it was okay. I mean, the guy, I got a lot of food, you know? I really got my $2.80 worth of guacamole, that's for sure. However, when I asked for carnitas, he just like found the biggest like blob of it and just put it on there. When like I would have preferred a little more shredded meat, but that's okay, you know. Overall, it was all right. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, mm. action shot. Overall, I thought that this Chipotle experience was mediocre. I've definitely had better, but the store is nice. The food, the guy took my order and he put the correct things on. They did like run out of things when I was ordering though, so he was kind of like scraping the bottom of every single thing to like give me the rest of it, which is really nice of him. So overall, we're going to give this place mm -hmm. over here a three and a half stars out of five stars. A lot of the poor reviews for this place stem from poor customer service. So maybe if it's a really busy time, you wouldn't want to come here, but otherwise it's great. Yeah, I don't know if great's the right word. Well, mm -hmm. All right, everyone, we'll see you. Uh, that was Chipotle. Next, we're going to Red, Red Pepper, Pepper Bar, Bar and Grill. Grill. I'm getting the children's plate with an enchilada. <laughs> I still am getting El Quesadilla con queso. <laughs> Please redo that. I'm getting the cheese quesadilla. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, now Joss is gonna take his first bite. <laughs> I'll take my first bite. <laughs> That is so good. Mm. <laughs> Emma's gonna take her first bite. Mmm. <laughs> okay, now Brevin's gonna take his first bite. I'm adding a little guacamole for a little spice. For a little spice. Mmm, me gusta. <laughs> Guys, they gave us dessert too. Look, I got some vanilla ice cream along with my quesadilla. Let's test it out. And a little chocolate chip on top. <laughs> a little chocolate chip on top. Oh. And now for dessert, we have fried ice cream. Woohoo! Bradman will be eating it, although it just doesn't look like it. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm, not good. Ready? The inside's good. <laughs> okay, so we just finished eating at the Red Pepper Barn Grill, and here are some of our final thoughts. Personally, I wasn't a fan of the refried beans, and also I thought the like crunchy mass produced lettuce was not the best. But overall, I definitely thought it was okay. It wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best. I had the chicken enchilada, and I thought it was just fine. I mean, it kind of just tasted like a lot of chicken, which is like what I'm ex it's it's great. Speaking more about the ambiance, I wasn't a fan of how dimly lit the store was. Like, <laughs> like I understand, like, maybe if we had gone, like, like earlier in the day, there would have been more, like, natural lighting. But I feel like, like, when I'm, like, dining out, like, I want, I want to be able to, like, clearly see my food, right? And I feel like I was, like, at times, like, hunting for it in the dark, which I wasn't a huge fan of, trying yeah. to find their food. Oh, cut that part out of the video. So our, for our final star rating, we're going to give it, like, I give it a two out of five stars. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I keep watching next and we'll be going to Asian Box. Okay, so the reason that we came to this restaurant was because actually when we were initially looking on Yelp. Interesting. It's a CNC curry house. It says CNC curry house, but upon further inspection, we realized that this is actually a place called Asia Box, or maybe Asian Box. Um, but either way, the reviews say that here's there's only two reviews, but the first one says very disgusted and not hungry no more. The second one says that the curry sucks. So we decided to come here and try it out anyways, even if. Like, it was a bit of a, like, false advertising. So, yeah. <laughs> I got the chicken curry box. Pretty self-explanatory. What's on my order? Curry, rice. Wait, it's chicken, curry, carrots, rice, uh, and almonds on the top. Yum. I ordered the garden box. It has tofu, chopped carrots, um, vegetables and um, a yellow coconut curry. Nice. Mm. Mm. It's good. Go. I got the spring rolls. I got the spring rolls, but they didn't have shrimp, so I have tofu. Let's try it. Okay, now I'm gonna try the spring roll. Let's dip it in the sauce. Get it in there. All right. I'm not a fan of the sauce. Now I'm gonna try a bite of it, but without the sauce, because that was a little much. Mmm. Okay. So without the sauce, it actually tastes like nothing, so. So overall, we thought it was okay. Personally, I really enjoyed my garden box. I really liked the curry and tofu. I thought it went nice together. Um, I got the chicken curry box, and like honestly, same here. Like, like I thought the chicken was good. Um, curry was great. Although I'm never a fan of like roasted. I don't know what's it called. Baby carrots are like really mushy. Mm. Not a fan of that. Yeah, I wasn't a fan <laughs> of the spring rolls either. I'm normally used to like the spring rolls with like shrimp and meat in them, and these ones were just tofu, which kind of tastes like nothing. And the sauce was, it wasn't like a normal like peanut sauce. It was kind of like, um, I would describe it personally as like a balsamic vinaigrette, but like <laughs> gone wrong. The customer service though was really great when we walked in. The lady said, welcome to the box. So overall, um, we think that it doesn't really deserve the bad reviews. While um, definitely the spring rolls weren't great. And it was um, a little bit on the expensive side for what you got. Um, we thought overall it was okay.
Yeah. So that's why we gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's better than the other places we've been to, but still not spectacular. The next place we'll be eating at is... Lucky's Chinese Bistro. I got the... Get your nasty Brevin, little things. Brevin can't use chopsticks. <laughs> I got the broccoli beef and the chow mein. I got the veggie fried rice and the veggie noodles. And I got the veggie chow mein, the broccoli beef, and um, the green beans. They also gave us free soup with each meal. Now Joss is gonna take his first bite. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> These little corn uh -huh. things, I hate. Well, don't, don't make that your first bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Don't zoom in on me using chopsticks for the rest. Mm. Now time for Brevin's first bite. Time for my first bite. You can tell by the way you're holding. Why don't you just use the chopsticks? You can. Mm, that was good. You can. Now I'm gonna take my first bite. I think as this video's gone on, we've gone less and we've gotten less and less professional. All right, Emma. Second bite. Let's get some of that broccoli beef. Yeah. yeah. It's really salty. Salty. Mm. All right. So this is the reviews on Yelp. Here are a few disgruntled customers. Small portions, very salty. Okay, first off, before even entering Lucky's Chinese Bistro, I had already had a tough day seeing a hawk's head be sliced clean off its body by another hawk. There were three simple expectations. Vegetarian food, edible food, a f and fair refund if it was not the first two. So you could imagine, I got a little frustrated because expectations were too high. Brenda C says, do not trust Google reviews, trust Yelp. Now I'm paying for it. So we just ate at Lucky's Chinese Bistro. And here are some of our final thoughts. Uh, the food was a little greasy, but the service was really great. Um, the ladies that were helping us behind the counter were super nice and they were also quick and efficient. But it kind of just tastes like Panda Express, so like any like Chinese like fast food <clears throat> thing. The, ma the majority of the reviews were one stars, which I guess is typical of Yelp, but still. So overall, we're going to rate it three and a half out of five stars. So here are some of our final thoughts. Overall, we thought a lot of these restaurants were um, given too much hate on Yelp. Um, while none of them were necessarily fantastic, we think that on Yelp, people tend to just go to spew hate and just, you know, funnel all their problems with a restaurant. And while it's something that could happen to you, the chance that it will happen is slim. Exactly. Don't always trust reviews on Yelp. And if you really want to try a restaurant, go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.